Breckenridge down uh, to Coleman County and back east and over towards Dallas. Large hail and gusty winds, damaging winds in excess of 60, 70 miles per hour. The main concern, obviously, an isolated tornado can't be ruled out. The timeline is from 6 to 10 tonight. Uh, isolated severe storms, that little sliver from really Callahan County over Abilene. If we get anything at all, it'll just be non-severe. Tomorrow's another story. We have the enhanced risk that involves uh, Stevens County, Eastland County, Port portions of Brown, Mills, and all of Comanche County. And this is numerous severe storms with damage. Very, very important to know that. The big area tomorrow, including the city of Abilene, is under the slight risk, which means scattered severe storms. Further back west, less intense activity, large hail, damaging winds, flooding, isolated tornadoes. We have two rounds of it on Thursday. First of all, it's a cold front that comes through from 10 till 2, and then when the cold front uh, overtakes the dry line from 3 to 11 on Thursday night. So stay weather aware uh, tonight and again, especially tomorrow. Partly cloudy tonight, not as windy, 71. We'll see southerly winds 10 to 15, but not gusting all that uh, strong up to 30 like we've seen. 90 for a high tomorrow, mostly sunny, but a 40% chance for rain and storms. And so be prepared for that. And through the heartland tonight, a 20% chance for rain and storms, mostly cloudy, partly sunny tomorrow, 90. And again, that 40% chance for rain and thunderstorms. So Stormy night uh, in our eastern counties potentially tonight and for all of us tomorrow as that cold front comes in, 40% chance for rain and storms, dry line storms on Thursday, about 30% chance. Temperatures soar as we go into Memorial Day weekend into Triple.